St. Louis Cardinals and number 22, Prentice Gaud, set out early to break into the win column. The Steeler defense is a tradition. It quickly digs in, but not soon enough. Gaud has brought the Big Red within field goal range. Jim Bakken will swing his leg in nine attempts. Seven will be good. Steelers' Bill Nelson, Pittsburgh's quarterback, is dropped by a hard Cardinal rush. It's a rush that proved relentless all afternoon. Cardinal pressure forced the Steeler offense into coughing up the ball six times, three on interception. Rookie quarterback Jim Hart goes to the play action pass. Finding himself in heavy traffic, he busts the play. The savvy Cardinal line picks him up and paves the path to the end zone. Hart's 23 yard run will be the only touchdown Pittsburgh allows. The Steelers take possession deep in their own territory. Nelson only completed eight of 25 attempts, but when he was on, there was a real sting. The longest gain of the day was this 48-yarder coming off the play action. Number 46, Chester Anderson, was also the game's leading receiver. Anderson is 6'3 and 245 pounds, a good target under any circumstances. A rookie quarterback is especially susceptible to a long, hard rush, and that's what breeds interceptions. Goal line yardage has become the private domain of Willie Asbury. It takes three tries to move the rugged Cardinal line. With the touchdown, the score stands Steelers 14, Cardinals 19. Hart comes right back, swinging Prentice God out of the backfield and into Steeler territory. The drive stutters, and even Jim Bakken can't pull off a salvage operation. Big Red defense offered its own solution. Blitz, shoot the linebackers. Set loose the ubiquitous number eight, Larry Wilson. Mistakes are born from pressure and the Steelers aren't exempt. The cards wrap the Steelers again with the big play. Johnny Rowland is on the receiving end. Slanting off tackle, Rowland can't find the daylight. Enter Jim Bakken. Bakken went for seven in nine field goal attempts, breaking both the record for number of attempts in a game and the number of successful attempts. Throw in a conversion, and it adds up to 22 points. In the 
closing minutes, the Steelers come on gamely, running their two-minute drill. The cards are giving up the short ones without giving up any pressure on the quarterback. next takes over for the last shot at a score. Both room and time run out simultaneously. The final score will stand.